Honorable Chia, Excellency and the Secretary General and Executive Secretary of ESCAP, Ms. Amida Salsia Alisabana, Excellency and the Secretary General, Ms. Fekita Moeloa Katoa Utoi Kamanu, Chair of the Committee on Development Policy, Mr. Jose Antonio Ocampo, Excellency Distinguished Delegates, Ladies and Gentlemen. It gives me great pleasure to share with you today Vanuatu's LDC graduation journey and a few key takeaways that we could reflect on as we work together to support the graduating and graduate Asia Pacific LDC in navigating preparation for graduation, smooth transition beyond graduation towards sustainable development in the midst of recovery from the COVID-19 pandemic. We complete our smooth transition strategy in December 2019 and endorsed by the government in July 2020. Our development partners, particularly UNESCAP through its sub-regional office in Suva, UNDESA, UNTAD, EU, the government of Australia and New Zealand have been very supportive towards the development of our smooth transition strategy in UNDESA and UNESCAP with this implementation, and for that, we are forever grateful. Ladies and gentlemen, Vanuatu has taken a bold step to graduate out of the LDC category on December 4, 2020, despite the Category 5 TCR role and in the midst of COVID-19. Our smooth transition strategy makes it very clear that the impact of losing inter international support major will be Minimal. However, we do know that the future ahead of us will remain challenging. In such a unique situation where business as usual cannot be the way forward, we lodge with the UN an LDC resolution seeking an extension of inter international support measure for an additional period of five years. The resolution has been adopted by the UN General Assembly, and now we have a window of opportunity to explore new export markets. Accessing development finance will, however, remain an uphill battle. Ladies and gentlemen, for the graduation LDCs, it is important that preparation for a smooth transition strategy is commenced earlier rather than later. We need the international community to strengthen and expand the international support measures, both for graduating and graduate countries. This is especially important given the impact of the COVID-19 pandemic and to build resilience in these countries to prevent future shocks. Ladies and gentlemen, Reviving economic growth in the aftermath of the pandemic will be a significant challenge for the Asian Pacific least developed countries. We need to build on valuable experience of the Istanbul program of action and develop smart program of action for LDCs for the next decade. I therefore support the policy priority for forward by this commission to support graduating and graduated LDC for the next 10 years. I thank you.